real-time data can play an important role to public health. Hi, my name is John Brownstein. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at Boston Children's Hospital and a professor at Harvard Medical School. AI and machine learning are directly applicable to the surveillance and monitoring in response to coronavirus. There's huge amounts of information of people talking about cases, reporting on events. If we can start to mine that information with new AI tools, we can actually get important signals of things happening in populations that would be important from a response perspective. That information in itself can be incredibly valuable for the WHO, for public health agencies like the CDC as they try to really get a grip on how this outbreak is evolving. There's a whole world of information that we can get from mining these sort of unconventional sources, Twitter data, Facebook information, uh, online blogs and chat rooms, uh, Google search query data, broad range of the ways in which people um, connect with the internet. So what we call is their digital breadcrumbs, right? Like the ways in which people interact with their apps and their, their websites leave small amounts of traces. Um, we think a portion of those traces are actually health related and they can really help give us insights in important uh, disease events like emerging infectious diseases. I, being able to identify someone that's saying they have a fever, uh, like an illness, versus saying they have Bieber fever. And AI has an important role to actually understand the sort of population view. This becomes important as people start to think about whether they might want to, to self-quarantine or, for instance, if an eventual vaccine comes out, what the population response will be. So when we look at coronavirus, the amount of, of government sharing of information has been amazing, but also what we're seeing through sort of online channels and, and the population sharing information um, has been unlike anything we've ever seen.